Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video and today we'll be going over the new re newly released Legend of the Vagabond Sword, I believe it's called. Yep, that, that's the event right there. So this was released about uh, 12 hours ago, you know, somewhere in the morning of my, my time. And so I didn't cover, cover it quite early, but we're here with the first challenge of the uh, Legend of the Vagabond Sword. Just as a quick rundown of what this is, uh, you just have to go into a domain with different affixes and uh, defeat X amount of bosses. Quick overview of the rewards, 60 Prima Gems per challenge, and that's 60 times 7, which is um, like 400 and something, I think. Uh, it's like 420, I think. Um, but just so you can get four, about 400 plus, we can say 350 plus Prima Gems from this whole uh, event. There's a bit, a few extra rewards you can get from this. You can get a bunch of talent level up books. You can get some uh, X amount of Mora. This is about like, what, 200,000 Mora in total. Uh, you get a lot of Hero's Wit from this and you get a few Mystic Enhancement Ores. But a bit more importantly to some people, you get this name card, which is uh, quite a nice looking name card. You've got a picture of the Megu Kenki on there. You've got um, the Geo Bishop and you've got an Oceanid here. So it, it looks quite nice, not bad. Uh, and essentially limited edition, so get this whilst you can, so you can brag to your friends who started playing Genshin Impact a bit late. Uh, but that, that in, the, in terms of rewards, that's pretty much everything you can get. In terms of where to find it, uh, you'll find the actual domain on the this, the this beach area here in Leeway. I'm not going to try to pronounce this, I'll butcher it. But you can find the uh, location here. And when we go into the actual domain itself, I presume it'll be much like the other domain uh, type styled events where you go in, you choose which challenge you want to do. So we can't quite select these other ones to see what we're doing. But the first one, we're going to see we're fighting the Geo Bishop. Now down here in the bottom right, you'll see that which characters get a, a damage buff or a buff in general. And Kazuha uh, is already here. You got Zhongli, Noel and Diona. They have a 20% damage buff during this event for the first one. When you, when you go into the difficulty setting, you'll get a bunch of stuff here. Don't be too confused. Much like the previous events, uh, you just have to go through and, and select with mo whichever multipliers you want, which ones uh, you know you'll, you feel best for you. And so we'll go through them here very slowly. So the first multiplier here is the biggest one. So you can set the, the general difficulty of the enemies. Uh, this is probably the biggest multiplier that you'll have to choose between. Expert gives you a 5x on everything. Uh, and so that this is pretty much... I'd set this to expert if you're very competent in your characters and you're pretty much at like AR50 plus, I'd set this to expert. Uh, now this one, this one comes at a, a bit of a different cost, so this is time, so how much time do you have to kill the actual enemy? Here you've got two minutes, a bit more, and a bit more. I don't actually know the time conversions, I'm not even going to try, I think that's three and a half right there. Uh, that's maybe a, a bit more. But I'm going to go with this one, it's only two minutes to kill it, it should be fine for me. Opponent's health increase. I'm not even going to touch this one. This one actually can be quite annoying because I th I'm pretty sure it's multiplied onto the actual expert multiplier, so it's even more health. So I'm not going to try that one. Uh, see, a uh, skill cooldown increase by 150%. Elemental burst increase. Uh, burst increase the attack of all party members by that player by, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, you can let's go with this one, right? I don't. I don't really know what it does. You know, we'll just go with that one. Get a bit extra score hope for the best characters protected by a shield will deal either electro or damage or cry damage to one nearby uh, enemy once every eight seconds the character the attack of characters not defended by shields is decreased by 50 percent. so we can go with that i have a zhongli on my team so it should be fine if you have a if you have a noel i'd recommend using her if you have zhongli 100 percent recommend using her number of primo geo vishap scale explosions have increased uh, this i don't think this will pretty much cause much of a problem so i'm just going to go with continuously cause explosions we'll have to see what actually happens there uh select your flares uh for this challenge opponent pyro resistance increased by 50 percent that should be fine i don't have a pyro actually i do have a uh yen fei on my team hydro res we can actually turn that on i don't use a hydro character opponent's attack increased by 20 percent that's fine it shouldn't cause too much of a problem i do have a zhongli shield if the current character takes damage while their HP is below 70%, they will begin losing HP at intervals. The HP loss will increase over time, up to a maximum of 10% max HP every 3 seconds. Uh, we'll leave that off for now, I think I'm a bit scared. 
Using an elemental burst increases the damage taken by all characters in the par uh, player's party by 15. This effect stacks. Uh, that's not too too difficult. When active character's HP is lower than 50%, attack is increased by 20, decreased by 25%. Um, I've got a, a Zhao on my team, so he'll probably spend most of his time at uh, 50 or below. Uh, but we'll turn it on. Why not? It's a bit more. Decreases backlash damage dealt to Primo Junior Bishops uh, by their primordial shower attack. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but we'll turn it on and see what happens. When a character is hit by Primordial Shower, their st shield strength is decreased uh, by 15%. This effect stacks um, up to four times. I'm not going to turn that on because I do have a Zhongli. So, quick quick rundown again. We have these affixes. I'll go over them here like this, showing them off. If you want to copy them, see how it goes, go for it. But these are the ones I'm running for the first one. We, in the total of, uh, for a total of points, we'll get 4.1, uh, 4.1k, sorry. Total points down here in the bottom right. And uh, looks pretty all right. We'll, we'll start that up right now. And then let's uh, get into it. For team composition, we're pretty much going to keep this same team like this. Uh, it's my main team and uh, should be fine. Zhongli is in the party, so we'll get a bit of a damage buff for him. Not that it really matters for him. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the actual challenge. Okay, so let's get this started, eh? We're just fighting one revived Prima Geo Bishop here. And uh, I, w I might not commentate too much on this, but um, I'm just going to show you guys the gameplay that I'm doing here. Going through this actually pretty fast here, actually. Lost my shield immediately. Oh my god, my Zhongli cooldown. That's unfortunate. Why is he just standing still? Is it, is it bugged? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Just gonna pop this here. And we're actually kind of a. Uh, Actually, uh, get a bit close for time. If I'm being a bit honest. There we go. We were actually a bit close for time there. I think that might have been because, uh, I didn't actually use my Zhao, Zhao's ultimate too quickly, but uh, there you go. There's the uh, first domain of the uh, Vagabond Sword boss killing event. I'm not sure what to call it. I'm just going to call it the boss event, the boss killing event. I don't really know what to call it. But if we do a quick rundown of what we got from doing it like that, 60 Prima Gems, as usual, you just get this for completing the actual event. You get 60 regardless of what difficulty you do it at. You can do it at easy, medium, with no affixes, whatever you want. You will always get 60 primos. But if you're into more rewards, if you're into getting a bit more bang for your buck, a bit more, you know, bang for your more effort rather, you'll get, with what I just did, 40,000 primos and a few talent level up books. And obviously, as the days go on, this will be a bit more cumulative and you will get the, uh, what is this, name card style at 21,000 points, which will not be too difficult as uh, all these are cumulative and you obviously, it builds up obviously. So four times seven, you'll get 21,000. But that's been the first event. I'll be covering all events as they come out uh, throughout the days. Stay tuned for all of those. If the video was helpful and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.